going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video and today guys We are introducing the newest member of the Papa Jake family. It's Luna Check it out She's very excited to meet all of you guys a whole lot of energy, isn't that right, Luna? I know if you've been following me on Instagram, you know already about Luna, but she is the newest member of the Papa Jake fam. Since Luna is a brand new member of the family, we should welcome her with her very own billionaire dog box for it. In fact, I didn't come up with this idea. Actually, I, she, she told me she wanted a billionaire dog box for it like two days ago. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do that. We'll get on it right now. So as you can see, Luna is looking for a little bit of an upgrade and it just so happens Papa Jake knows exactly how to make billionaire box forts for our little baby Luna. So we're gonna have everything that she might want inside of a box fort. We're gonna have a treat dispenser, we're gonna have water, we're gonna have food, we're gonna have toys, we're gonna have a comfy area, a ball pit. We're gonna have a ball launcher that launches out balls so she can go and chase them. I mean, this thing is going to be absolutely insane and it's gonna be the size of a miniature house. Now, we've got in the background here some of the construction already started for her, but we haven't done any of the really cool interior work. As you can see, it's lit up right now, it's green. But what we need to do is fill this entire thing in with awesome stuff for her. Also, Luna mentioned something to me the other day. Isn't that right, Luna? And what, what were you saying? Something, what was that? That's right, Luna. That's that's right. She is a member of the squad. And if you guys want an awesome shout out at the end of our videos, all you guys have to do is join the squad by scrolling down below, smacking that subscribe button, that bell button, and commenting a little something we like to say. That's right, squad! Every like that this video gets. Lona, you get a treat. Jake, that's too many treats. We don't know how many likes this video is gonna, I mean, okay, if it gets uh, too many likes, that, that might be a little bit crazy, but let's see how many treats we can get for little baby Luna. You want a lot of treats, Luna? Yeah, you want a lot of treats. All right, well, we're gonna let Luna go and rest while we start working on her house, and then we'll bring her in and show her just what amazing box for building skills Papa Jake and Logan have. Look at the size of this thing, Logan, it's bigger than me. So we did kind of outdo ourselves and make a doggy mansion. A little bit too big, Logan. But we can't contain our box for building skills. You could fit two humans here and a dog in the top. Also maybe a llama, although I don't know how big llamas are. So far we have the skeleton of Luna's new house. As you come inside, it looks pretty sweet. Now it is completely empty because we haven't done all of the really fun doggy stuff that we're gonna do, but we wanna make this as awesome as possible for her. So we've got this really cool open space to add all of our stuff, and we even got Logan up here. I don't really know what this is gonna be. It's kinda like a secret. Ah, doggy space that is probably too small for me. Oh, actually I fit. I'm like a dog. We still do need to add doggy doors as well as a bunch of other stuff to fill this place in, so why don't we get started with the building? Oh, look what I did. I made a doggy door, bro, because the human door is way too big. So now if Luna wants to come in, she just needs to walk in the front door like this, pop this open, and she can go inside her fort. The only thing we don't have is a way for her to get up to that secret area, so we might have to think about that. Maybe like a doggy elevator, that would be sweet. Luna has her very own fetch machine. And it actually works, guys. Check this out. Logan, ready? Go fetch. But I actually have not tried this thing out yet, so why don't we turn it on and see okay, how it's it hit me. Okay, maybe Logan, maybe you gotta move out of the way, bro. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I'm actually, I don't know if it's gonna shoot. <laughs> it hit me in the Logan, face. You move, because another one's about to come. You gotta move, Logan. I'm not gonna move, Logan. Ah, hit the viewers. Then just move the camera. Okay. This thing is uh, very powerful, but that's okay. So we could probably mount this somewhere on the fort so we can shoot balls out and then Luda can run out the front door and go and grab these balls. She is a little bit too small, so she's gonna have to just kind of like push them around. Uh, Jake, I think this was meant for baseball. It, it might have been meant for baseball. There's a little dude playing baseball in here, but that's okay, you know, that's what we do. We make things work. But Logan, before we put this in the fort, since it is a baseball pitching thing, I was thinking maybe a classic Pop Jake for Logan Challenge. And welcome back, sports fans, for the 10th annual Baseman World Series. Up first to bat is Papa Jake with a spatula. All right, guys, we each have three chances to hit the ball. Whoever hits there is the furthest wins. Strike one. Okay, all right, strike two to play. Let me give you three. Two for Logan, if he misses this, I win. 
Oh, it looks like Papa Jake destroys the pitching baseball. No, basketball. No, I get one more try because why, why of the, the rules. Uh, okay, Logan gets one more try because of the rules. Oh! The ball rolled back farther than me, so Papa Jake still destroyed the challenge. But Logan, this isn't actually for us, even though we're having a ton of fun. This is for Luna. Today is all about Luna. We need to get this in the box for it, start setting this up, and then we can just get one more. Channel. We're becoming a baseball channel. It's actually pretty fun. Let's get this set up in the box for it for Luna, and then we can get to some of the more awesome stuff that we are putting in our doggy box for it. And now we are installing Luna's automatic fetch machine. The official fetch machine has been in. That's how you spell fetch, right? I don't know. I can't. I, I think I just spelled fetch wrong. It doesn't matter. All that matters is it's the ball blaster machine. And we also got a little window here. See? So I kind of ran out of room for fetch, and then I realized I misplaced the C and the H. The I, C goes first. I did not know. I came out. I'm like, yeah, that's how you spell fetch. It's fetch. That, that is not how you that's spell not fetch. That's how you spell fetch. Fetch, the fetch machine is finally complete. You guys see me down here? This is for Luna, so she can actually see where the ball goes because this window's way too high up here. But let's test it out and see how far this thing actually fires. So we would turn it on like this and go, Luna, go fetch. And then a ball would be launched just like this. Whoa! It's pretty awesome. This is place, guys. Let's move on to the next thing we're adding in here, which I think is gonna be awesome. It's it's the puppy ball pit. So it's gonna be a awesome little ball pit for her to play around in with all the ball pit balls. I also am gonna install this. So of course we've got LEDs in here, which means we can change them to any color we want. We can have them blue. We could get them into like a darker red, or we could just have them like orange, which looks pretty good right now. So let's start making this ball pit out of these massive Lego bricks. I think this should be big enough because she is pretty small and I don't want to have it too big that we lose her in it. I think we'll make it about this big and this high. I have no idea how she's going to react to this. She's still a puppy so she's never seen a lot of things and she's definitely never seen a ball pit before. We got the outline of the ball pit ready. Now the fun part begins. Let's get some balls and throw it in here. Go! I might have overfilled the ball pit balls just a bit. It kind of still works. Okay, you know, it actually looks pretty fun. So we'll see how Luna reacts. I have no idea if she's gonna like this, but it's pretty sweet to have her very own ball pit ball inside the house. I've also got another really cool thing I wanna show you guys, so check this out. The next feature that we've added to Luna's awesome billionaire dog fort is this little thing here. It's called a Furbo. So I've installed it inside the wall and you're probably thinking, Papa Jake, what, what's that? Just looks like a white thing. Well, it's not just a little white thing stuck in the wall, okay? That is actually a camera that lets us look at Luna while she's in the box fort, but more importantly, we can shoot treats out of it. Check this out. As you can see here, we can see, oh, oh Logan's in here. Hey, Logan. What's up, Jake? So Logan is waving in front of the camera and we can see all of the fun stuff in here for Luna. Okay, there, there, there's a teddy bear, but if I want to send some treats, you just flick this little thing down here, like that, and then, pop out. How sick is that? We've got all of Luna's stuff in here. The ball pit is looking amazing. I also added a mini trampoline. I don't think she's gonna know how to use a trampoline, but I think I think it's gonna work out pretty good. We got Mr. Rhino here, so in case she wants to play with Mr. Rhino, of course we can send her treats whenever we want. Over here, this is the washroom. So over here, Luna's got her grass, so if she needs to go to the bathroom, we also have a little potty here. It's a little mini potty for Luna, and a mirror, so she can look at herself. Plus. I'm Mr. Pooh, in case she forgets that this is where you go potty. And up here is Luna's chill space slash sleeping area. Dude, it looks so comfy up here. This is like the best part of the entire fort. We also have Mr. Sharky. Mr. Sharky, we got a little teddy bear and all her cozy stuff up here. But Jake, I just realized we have one massive problem. What's that, Logan? How is she gonna get up here? Well, we're just gonna have to lift her or she's gonna learn how to use the trampoline and go plow. Jake, no dog knows how to use a trampoline. Well, Luna's gonna be the first dog ever to use the trampoline, guys. If you put hashtag Luna down below, she will know how to use the trampoline. All right, Luna, it's time to show you your billionaire box for it. I know you're so excited to go see it. We got a big Luna, we got a little door for you. We even got a fetch machine, go check it out. Here is Luna's doggy door. 
Come on in, check out your billionaire fort! Check it out! She is checking everything out. This is all brand new to her, so she's gonna be really excited. Oh, Shar, look at the top in the mirror. She's like, what are we doing? That's your toilet, Luna. We, of course, have everything set up for you so that you can enjoy every aspect of it. These are super comfy cushions. Extra fluffy for Luna, we made sure of that. Hi, Luna, I'm Mr. Rhino. What's up, dude? I'm going to chase you, Luna. Where are you going? Oh, she's underneath the trampoline. Where she goes? She's running around. Oh no, she's attacking Mr. Rhino! Mr. Rhino! Alright guys, Mr. Rhino is down. Luna is moving around. She's inspecting all areas of the fort to make sure it's up to her standards. Luna is not Luna is not jumping on the trampoline. I don't think she knows how to jump on the trampoline. <laughs> Luna, that's your fetch machine. Oh Luna, do you want to try your fetch machine? Do you want to see how the fetch machine's cool? And we turn it on. Luna, get ready to go fetch. Luna, get ready to fetch! Whoa! Jake, I think Luna likes the fetch machine. Well, if she likes the fetch machine, then she's gonna love the ball pit. Do you wanna see the ball pit? You can't eat Mr. Shark. You can't eat him. Don't, don't. Luna, you can't take Mr. Rhino under the pit. He doesn't wanna go under there. All right, guys, Luna is inside the ball pit. I don't know what she thinks of it. You like the ball pit, Luna? All your favorite sets, all a bunch of balls. Okay, Luna is out of the ball pit. Now Luna, this is your five star bedroom. We've got your bed, we've got your blankie, we've got your mat, we've got everything you need to chill out here and just relax at the end of a long day. <laughs> I'm going to talk to her and let her know that she's getting a treat because she's been an extra good girl. And I'm sure with all these likes, Luna's gonna be getting a whole lot more treats. Is that for a treat? You're getting tired, aren't you? You're a little tired out. So guys, let us know down below though if you liked having Luna in the video and think we should do some more awesome videos with her because she loves playing around and having a bunch of fun but she does get tired really quickly so she needs to go take a nap. Let's try and get 25,000 likes for Luna. Logan, that's a lot of treats we're gonna have to give Luna, guys. Every like is a treat for Luna. And I think she loved it so much. But guys, I think this is where we're gonna wrap up the video. But before we do that, we need to give a shout out to one of our amazing squad members. And today's squad member shout out goes to Ellen. So thank you so very much, Ellen, for being an amazing member of the squad. If you guys see her down below, be sure to give her a big old thumbs up, leave a comment. And of course, guys, if you wanna join the squad and get a shout out from both me and Logan, all you guys gotta do, it's super easy. All you gotta do is subscribe, hit the bell button, and comment hashtag what? Squad! But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Papa Jake and Logan. And we'll see you guys next time. Jake and Luna. And Luna, that's right. And Luna. Jay, there's two L's. Luna, Logan. It's been Jake, Luna, and Logan. And we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video.